Hey guys, it's Morgan coming back to you with another video about the 300 XC. Uh, you guys already saw the thumbnail. You know this is about secrets. Well, obviously it's not that much of a secret if I know about it, but the reality is I don't know if it's a real secret or if it's true or if it's going to work or anything like that. So um, join me for this, guys. I think this is going to be pretty cool. All right, so you guys know, I know more about the 23 300XC than a lot of folks. There's a lot of folks, obviously, that know more than me. Um, but I got a phone call from a friend back east in Tennessee who said his friend was at a race in uh, Tennessee, or back, e anyway, somewhere back east, and the KTM, like, factory guys were there, big trailer and the whole thing. And he's got a brand new 125 XC, or maybe it's an SX, but whatever. The one with the new TBI and all that, just like this. And he wasn't happy with the way it was running. And so he went to the trailer and talked to one of the factory mechanics. And he said, hey, uh, you know, this 125 doesn't run that good. Is there something wrong with it or something? You know, whatever. He's just asking questions. And they said, well, what map do you have it in? Or what setting do you have it in? And he's like, well, I got it in the green. He's like, no, 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 what setting you know, low, medium, or high. He's like, what are you talking about? There's a green map and white map. He's like, oh, they don't tell you guys about that? He's like, what? Bring your bike over here. So, <laughs> it turns out, the rumor is, and a bunch of you guys have probably already heard this rumor. <clears throat> I don't know if you've tested it. Uh, if you have, comment below. The rumor is that there is a way to choose between a high, medium, and low setting and then have maps within those settings, which would be more like the old school carburetor um, models where you had, you know, the green, yellow, and red springs, and then you could tune within those. So I'm here to test it out. Let's take this thing apart and get after it. All right, guys, so if you own one of these, <clears throat> you probably know about the dongle uh, and setting the power valve because the manual talks about setting that and it says that you're supposed to hang on all right so the manual says to reset the power valve limits or whatever set it how it's supposed to be you're supposed to take your throttle turn it to half which whatever that means obviously we can figure that out but whatever turn it to half and then while it's at half you're supposed to plug your dongle into the obd port and it's supposed to do some flashing and stuff and then stop and then you unplug it and that's supposed to reset it. Now the rumor that I'm hearing is that you can do that in closed or wide open also. Uh, <clears throat> and it's supposed to, if you go wide open and set it like that, then it's supposed to be in the super hottest map possible. If you do closed, it's supposed to be in the even more mellow map that like the green spring. Uh, and then the middle would be like yellow. All that makes sense, whether they built that into this bike or not, I don't know yet. Let's find out. So to start, guys, we're going to find half throttle, because that's a weird thing. So the way I think I'm going to do it is I'm going to mark the grip and the throttle housing. So we're going to come like that and like that so that's closed and that's full so half looks like it would be about there okay close enough all right guys so got one of these bendy guys um i think what we can do is we'll wrap around here one more and then that'll allow us to turn yeah there we go and then hook it onto the brake there we go check that out so that looks pretty good you can see the mark here there perfect all right now we unplug we unplug our this is the uh, true north wiring harness. This is the trigger wire from my light. So just unplug that, or you can unplug it from the, the thing down here on the seat. So you get the OBD port out. Now, 
supposedly, if I read the manual correctly, you're supposed to just take this dongle and we're going to plug it in. We should see some lights flash when we do. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now, let's see, do we close, let's see what happens when we let it close. Okay, made some noises. Still making noises. Everything has stopped. Now we're gonna unplug. See what happens. Turns off. All right, so now let's fire this thing up. It should be, okay, currently that should be in just the normal position. So let's see what happens. Let's put the cold start. It's been overnight. Man, that new battery starts this bike so much faster. So no light or anything like that. That's good. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's try these other options. And guys, yes, I am going to ride this thing. Um, it's obviously gonna be a seat of the pants test. If, if it works, um, if this does things, then it's gonna be a seat of the pants test. So um, no dyno, sorry, I don't have one. Maybe someday in the future, but I don't right now. So now, let's try it closed we're gonna just leave it closed and we're gonna plug the dongle in and again i got this information at second hand so my friend was talking to his friend so i don't know if this is the right way we're gonna test a few things so um, i talked to another friend of mine who said he played with it and he couldn't make anything happen in closed or wide open but i have an idea so we're gonna leave it closed plug the dongle in Okay, it goes to green. You don't hear any power valve thing happening. But that doesn't mean it's not changing the map in the computer, because that's all it really needs to do. So now let's unplug it. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess, uh, I guess let's go ride it because that should be more mellow. And like I said, I know how this thing runs. I know how it feels. Um, I'm gonna grab my uh, helmet camera and a helmet and we'll just go ride this thing up and down the road, see how it feels wheelie and stuff like that, if there's any difference at all. Um, but yeah. So that's a run in green. Let's check out the white.
All right, guys, so I don't know. Uh, it sort of felt like the green was less aggressive uh, than when it was in the middle. Uh, I don't know for sure. Obviously, this is a seat of the pants test, guys, and my brain is telling me one thing, and anyway, so it felt not as aggressive, and I think it didn't rev out, but hopefully you guys are going to be able to watch this video, hear me do those long pulls, because for me, the big difference in green and white normally uh, is that the green just revs out way higher uh, and, and quicker for sure. Uh, and it's a little bit more just nasty snap. Um, so it didn't feel crazy. I was rolling on, you know, cracking the throttle and it wasn't just lifting the front wheel in like third and fourth, which I think it was before. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what I remember from this thing because it's crazy fast. So uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in the hot, you know, theoretically. So I'm gonna hold it wide open, do the dongle thing and right here, join me. All right, guys, let's do this again. By the way, this system seems to work really well for holding the throttle if you guys need to do it. All right, now it's wide open. Get our OBD port. I'm gonna plug it in. So that's interesting. It, it just stays in the white map, I guess, but I did hear the pump run. I did hear, you know, I saw that thing switch and move. So let's unplug. Okay, let's go try it again. Now, in theory, that's gonna be a much bigger difference because that's from the Again, if this is all working, if that's from the low map all the way to the hottest map, so we should be able to feel a big difference. Go talk about that. Actually, I forgot to do the white map. All right, now we're in the white map. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Like the, you know, like the red spring-ish. And that white map seemed to pull way better than the last white map. It's still more mellow delivery. It's not as snappy as 
right before, but this thing pulls now really hard, so let's go talk. All right, guys, so first things first, it's not like, oh my gosh, difference. Now the difference between white and green is still uh, big. I love the fact that that uh, map switch does that and it controls the power valve and all that stuff. So first of all, I don't think there's a huge difference, even if there is a difference. The biggest thing that makes me think it is doing something is because the white map seems to want to pull further when I had it, you know, I, when I did it in the oh, wide open. That I feel like is different. It feels like it is pulling further, which would mean that they've, you know, it, it does change. Um, it's not a, like a turbocharger or anything like that, but that also could be, uh, my buddy, if you haven't watched the SXXC video, um, make sure you do, um, cause we talk about how the power feels very similar on the two bikes, but this bike has a high compression head and that one didn't. Um, it's already, you know, they both came with an SX head, but I put an RK tech head in this, uh, gives a little more bump. Uh, everywhere because it's high comp and his uh, head design with different squish and all that stuff. So um, that would make sense that they would feel very similar because this had a head that didn't. And I'm thinking the SX models might come in that hot map, uh, whereas these don't. Um, so uh, I'm going to try one more thing uh, because I was thinking about how you're supposed to set it at 50% and then roll it closed. So I'm going to see what happens if we set it at 50% and then roll it open and then unplug it and see if that does anything different. All right. We're set at 50%. Get our OBD, take our dongle. 50%. Okay. So now here we go. No sound yet. Now we're going to go open. Make sure we wait long enough. Nothing. Now let's try closing it and see what happens. I don't know. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's go see what happens because we rolled it open and rolled it closed uh, after being at 50%. So, um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the FI light does come on like that. All right, so that didn't feel any different from the wide open. So now let's just put this thing back in normal. Let's set up the half and whatever. Go ride it and see if there's any notice of any difference. Something to know. thousand rpm just so you know which 4000 rpm is pretty high so no big deal
All right, guys, uh, let me know what you think. You guys can hear the video. Uh, I know you can't feel it, but you can hear the video. Um, I think there's a difference. I don't think it's huge. I don't think it's game changing, <laughs> uh, but I do think there is a difference. I feel like I can definitely tell a difference at least between like the map it came in and then the, the you know, having it wide open. Um, I don't know that it's, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, honestly, uh, but I, I feel like I can tell a difference. Like I said, you guys let me know. Um, honestly, the biggest difference I felt was in the white map. Um, the, when I had, did the wide open setting, uh, which would be like the red spring, uh, it felt like it pulled further in the white map, more like the green map was in the normal setting. Um, the green in the red, the red springs, anyway, you know what I mean? Didn't feel crazy different. Um, that makes sense to me though, because like how much more uh, violent can you make this thing without doing other things to it? So, I don't know. Comment below, guys, what you think. Think if uh, let me know if you think it's just all in my head. Let me know if you think it's real. Uh, if you're from KTM or you know someone from KTM and you know that it's real or fake, let me know. Um, I'd love to know. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave it in normal because to me, this motorcycle in the normal setting with the white and green map options is perfect. Like I don't need to go any faster <laughs> and I don't need to go any slower. Because uh, when I put it in the white, it feels great in the rocks. If I really want to get that better in the rocks, I'm going to change gearing on this, honestly. If I'm going to go do a whole bunch of hard enduro, I'm going to change gearing uh, and drop first down even lower. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it's brilliant the way it is. But there we go. Hopefully that was informative or at least interesting. Uh, hopefully we get some uh, people commenting on here that know more than I do uh, and let us know. Uh, you know, I'm sure Jeff Slavens knows more than I do. So maybe he'll comment um i won't block his comments like he blocked mine so <laughs> um but honestly i'd love to know what jeff knows or thinks i really really would um that's not a joke i'm not giving him a hard time here well i gave him a hard time about the blocking me but you know what i mean i'd love to know what jeff knows he's got more friends in the industry than i do so anyway i hope you guys like that i uh, hope it was interesting hope it was informative uh, if you're brand new here, subscribe to the channel maybe because we do all kinds of stuff. We work on all kinds of bikes, not just this KTM. Uh, we got a Husky there, other KTMs, Kawasaki's, Yamahas, got some Hondas. Um, yeah, rarely is there a Suzuki in here. Oh, and real quick teaser, guys. This is a 22 300 XC uh, W Erzberg edition that uh, has like five hours on it maybe. Two. Anyway, whatever. And we are doing the TSP relocation kit, um, Slavin's fuel, uh, idle screw, tons of stuff, uh, fuel pump. Mo anyway, we're going nuts on it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Our customer is really stoked to just get that thing super decked. So stick around for that. Love you guys. Get out, spread the gospel of two wheels. And I hope that what we're doing is inspiring you guys to get out and ride your dirt bikes.